Live at Bonnaroo 2012, weekly feed, Wiley from Dawes. How you doing? I'm well. This has kind of become a mainstay for you guys. Yeah, it's awesome. We're stoked yeah. to be back here. It's been, uh, it's not as hot as last year, so right. we're pretty excited about that. Right. Our van melted, like the battery melted last year, <laughs> broke down three times, we got pulled out Is by that a tractor. True? Yeah. It was a wild one, but yeah. Well, yeah. at least you always remember Bonnaroo. Yeah, like exactly. you can play Coachella, we, yeah. and that's cool, but yeah. you don't have this story. Our tour manager got a sunburn that lasted for like two weeks, three weeks, like purple <laughs> arm. It was great. Yeah. So cool. Well, you've had a big, uh, big year anyway. The record's doing great. The singles have been out there. Yeah. I mean, it, just to get to a point where you turn around and Dawes is kind of. It seems like you guys are everywhere for a minute. Yeah, so. we're trying, man. Staying yeah. super busy. Been working on a bunch of new songs getting those into the set here and there on this little tour mm -hmm. and then uh probably gonna go record it in like october wow yeah so it's quite, i mean it seems like quick turnaround but you guys were i mean i, I guess the last record was kind of nearly done by the time like when my time comes was taken off and all yeah that, right totally yeah that 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 well the first record we did and it took so long and we didn't have a label we made it we went out on the road with it and so that one was around for like two and a half mm -hmm. years and we made the second one and now we're kind of like trying to get back on like the real cycle like you sure. know every year year and a half try to yeah. put out a new one wow yeah and it's funny because a lot of bands were like two or three years two or yeah. three years and you're saying like every year you can no, actually yeah. do that i you mean you look it. back at all like the dylan and the stones yeah. right? it's like it's sometimes two a year you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you could do it we'd love to but yeah. at this point we're on the road so much and it's like we really try to squeeze in that right. like month off right. to go record but it's funny you bring up those names because you've obviously been so embraced by the 70s artists you know, and, and that's become a thing for you guys, yeah, you know? Awesome, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard it and heard it and heard it, but modern day the band, you know? It, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. keeps happening, but is there going to be more of those? Do you guys have more of those planned? Hopefully. I mean, we're doing more shows with Jackson. We're doing uh, Newport with him, mm -hmm. so we'll be his band for that. And then otherwise, I mean, it's getting harder and harder just because we keep getting busy sure. on our own stuff, but I mean, we're all, we always love to. It's like yeah. one of the joys of our life is like having him been able to play with How all those guys. Yeah, awesome. so yeah, it's crazy. Tell me about Father John Misty. I, I have fell in love with this record. Fear yeah. Fun blew me away, and I had no clue you were a part of it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just going through it day and night, and suddenly I start reading the liner notes because they're fantastic. I mean, yeah, the liner notes cover are crazy. Art. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And there you are. Yeah, well, he's good. I mean, we did, I was like the assistant engineer, and then I played bass on uh, maybe like four or five of them, and he, mm -hmm. we did it with the same producer that did both of our records, Jonathan Wilson. Mm -hmm did it at his house and I was just in town so I got to hang out and do it and I mean it, the record sounds amazing I think it sounds great Taylor loves it he like yeah. listens to it every day you guys taking any dance move lessons from Tillman I mean not yet I don't know <laughs> if I'm ready for him but yeah he's yeah. a badass man. well he shows what he shows is lanky guys like us yeah, you know can shouldn't still be afraid do it. of yeah, moving we can you know? still do it. Yeah, and, exactly. and as much as I want to say like I can't even do that by myself in front of a mirror yeah that's amazing he's good, man. does he do that in the studio yeah he's pretty Seriously. much what you see is what you get he's, he's the real deal man <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so as far as your guys' new record, uh, is, is there a direction yet? Are you guys looking at it? Is this tried and true dolls? I mean, we're trying to make sure that it gets to I mean, we don't want to keep putting out records that obviously are just like new batch of songs, mm -hmm. same records. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to definitely like expand the, the horizons for ourselves, you know, and for what people want to hear, but still like maintain, you know, right. obviously the parts that people like about the band. But definitely try to like meld it a little bit more with uh, with the, the live show and like you know what I mean. It should be cool. Well, that's always been a thing too. It's like your live show and your albums have been that's two different speeds, but two different emotions yeah. usually. And and it, it, it's always kind of been a curiosity. Could you guys do that on record? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, in the first record, it was a very conscious decision. Was like we were listening to like you know like all how you hear like an old Neil Young record and it's so mm -hmm. mellow and intimate, and, or like a band record like, right, right, like right. the Brown album, and it's so quiet. And then you watch the Last Waltz, and it's like a huge production, you know. And so at first we were like, that's, you know, that was like a thing that we were attracted to is like, go hear the record in your room, listen to it, really get into the songs and then go see it live. And it's like a performance, you right, know what I mean? Right. And then the second record, we tried to kind of split the difference. And then this one, I think we'll probably even try to split it more. So, you know, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's been fun yeah, it watching you guys cool. grow this whole time, watching the world embrace you. Thanks, man. Uh, so good luck on a 2012 and, yeah. uh, and your Bonnaroo set. Today. Right, All right. Cool. All right. See you around. All right. See you later. Cool.